Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be going over on how to solve the problem seen here in the screen. Okay, so the problem is shown goes 3 minus 3 divided by 1 thirds plus 3. Okay, so where do we start? You may think that you should start from left going right, so 3 minus 3 first, but that is wrong. That is wrong because in mathematics we have the order of operations which normally goes like this P for parentheses E for exponents M for multiplication D for division A for addition and S for subtraction this is the order in which we should perform the operations here it is also worth noting that multiplication and division as well as addition and subtraction are interchangeable and you should do whichever one is more left of those first okay so let's see what we have we have no parentheses no exponents no multiplication but we do have division and multiplication and division are together so the division sign is here or let me highlight that actually we have division there okay so that means let's start with division so let's first divide 3 divided by 1 third okay so how do we do 3 divided by 1 third because 1 third is a fraction basically when you divide a fraction what you can also do is multiply by its reciprocal and a reciprocal is a fraction that is flipped so basically the denominator becomes the numerator and the, and the numerator becomes the denominator so in this case 3 divided by 1 third is equal to 3 times 3 over 1 and 3 over 1 is the same as 3 so it's 3 times 3 so it's 9. Okay, so we have 9 for this, so let's now rewrite it. 3 minus 9, which is this, this whole thing, plus 3. Okay, let me erase this stuff here. Okay, so we now we have this. Alright, where do we go next? So we have, we did this, now let's go bottom, addition and subtraction. As said before, addition and subtraction are interchangeable and addition does not always go in front of subtraction. It is with which one is left, in this case we go from left to right, so which one is more farther left we start with. So in this case, farther left is subtraction here. is a subtraction here so let me highlight that okay so let's subtract 3 minus 9 so 3 minus 9 so let me draw a number line here so this is 0 3 okay so it's 3 minus 9 obviously we're going to receive get a negative number so that might be a little tricky for some people. So here, how do we subtract 9 from 3? Okay, so first let's go from 3 to 0, and that's minus 3. So we already took 3 away from that 9, so how much more do we need to take away so it we take away 9? We would need to take away 6. And what is 6 less than 0? Negative 6 means that 3 minus 9 is equal to negative 6. Okay, so now let me... So then we have negative 6 plus 3 as our updated thing. And now, finally, all we must do is add these together. So we have a negative number here. So what you could do if you want is put the positive number in front so put the plus 3 in front you don't have to show the plus when it's at front and then add the n 
plus because the commutative property we switch around plus negative 6 which can also just be written as 3 minus 6 since positive and negative makes a negative minus okay same as the last part we're subtracting we're gonna get a negative number in our answer so let's see let's make another number line here's 0 and here's 3 so to get from 3 to 0 we should take away 3 but we need to take away 6 so how much more do we take away so we take away 6 we need to take away 3 more so that becomes negative 3 and that's our final answer negative 3 thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you and was useful thank you